Hello and welcome. My name is Jess from Team Big Marker, and I'm here to give you a quick look into our virtual events backend, which allows for you to add presenters, add booths, add modules, and download your analytics all within one UI. So getting started with an event, as you can see, I have already populated a name for our event here. I've called it the future of media, selected the channel, selected the start and end dates. I've also selected the time zone that this event will be happening in. You can also select your template that you will be starting off with. I've gone ahead and selected the virtual event classic microsite, but we highly recommend either the microsite the expo hall, the lobby, or the agenda as your first event to create. And we'll touch a little bit on why later on. You can also move on to the next page, which will allow you to estimate the number of registrants that you will have, select the modules that you will have in your event, invite collaborators, and then move on to your virtual events backend. So let's move on into our virtual events backend, where we have our event setup and basics, which is the same as you saw on your event creation page. The only difference being you can add your support email address here as well. So we're going to go ahead and click on that to give you a quick look into our ticketing. So when you create a ticket, you can give it a name, you can set the price. Um, you can set the number of passes and the date of expiration if you have an early bird sale. You also select the modules and sessions that this pass has access to. Moving on from the passes onto our settings, this is where you can create and customize the look of your tickets. So you can add your branding, your color gradient, and any kind of tracking code as well. Moving on to our design, this is where you can upload and manage all of your branding assets, which include your logos, your backgrounds, and any branding colors that you may use on your pages as well. As you can see within our setup, you have the option to go into check-in, matchmaking, networking center. These are all our modules that we have that you can come back and set up later. So let's move on to our module since this is our main aspect of the event. Here we have your lobby, we have our agenda, and we also have that expo hall that we were talking about. So when you take a look at these, you will be directed right back to that event setup, left-hand side, that check-in, and you can edit and manage these toggles as well. Moving on from modules to sessions, the session content is the destination where your attendees will be. And so you can either add a session from scratch or you can copy one from a template that you have. So you can see I already have a agenda sessions. You can set the session type, whether it's live or on demand, and the date and time of the event. And you can link it to an, an existing agenda, which is why we recommend creating that agenda, that lobby, and that expo hall so that you can assign it to that agenda piece. Moving on from your sessions onto your collaborators and your presenters and exhibit staff. As you saw from our event setup process, you have the option to invite collaborators. Your collaborators are other admins who have access to the virtual events backend. When you create and add a collaborator, you have the option to change their permission levels. And you can either select presenters that you already have uploaded to your channel or invite them via email. Moving on to presenters and exhibit staff, these are going to be the individual presenters that you invite to speak in your sessions. And you can also assign which sessions they have access to as well within their manage window here. Moving on to our exhibitors tab, this is where you can add and manage your booth content all within that all within our virtual events backend. So as you can see, I have selected my expo hall from this drop down menu and populated our 
Exhibit Booths. Once you have created a booth, you have the option to edit it, which allows you to upload a photo, add the name, select the size of the booth, and upload the graphics and other content pieces within that booth as well. Moving on from our exhibitors onto our analytics section, our analytics offer a complete view into every aspect of the event. So you see you have your registrants, your unique visitors, and you have the option to select a date range as well. Let's go ahead and select January 21st, February 25th, run that report, and you have the option to download that as an XLS file. 